Well, good morning, Trucker Todd here, and time for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Great Pumpkin Express, also known as Snyder National. And I'm going to tell you the five things that you should know about them that your recruiter probably won't tell you. Incidentally, all of these things um, that I'm going to tell you about Snyder are not true with Dark Transit. So, um, we'll go more into that in just a minute. So, this video shouldn't take long. Let's jump right in. Here we go. And this is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down. Flying by these road signs, with home on my mind. With these wheels turning round for my family and for my kids. For this life I want. This is why I do this. Alrighty, and we're back before we go any further. You guys give me a thumbs up. Share this video on your social media platform. Um, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that now so that you receive a notification when I put out future videos. You, as I said, or may not have said, you can also share this video on your social media platforms. And, uh, when you do that, speaking of social media platforms, my Instagram's down there, my Facebook's down there, my email's down there. If you're interested in knowing more about going to work at Dark Transit, as you know, I'm pretty happy there. Email me and uh, I'll get you in contact with somebody that'll get you through the hiring process seamlessly. Also, if you've got if your heart not set on talking to them, you've already called them or you're preparing to call them, please give them my driver number of 58180. That would really help me out. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Uh, let's start with number five. Number five is that every year, regardless of your situation, they're going to bring you in for a annual driving test now this is even if you have no tickets accidents incidents any problems whatsoever they're going to bring you in and some guy that who knows what his level of experience is how long he's going to been with the company is going to watch you drive and coach you and you guys know how i feel about those uh, i think there's a time and place for it if you uh maybe have had an issue or an ongoing issue maybe a ton of critical events or something like that but to bring you in annually indiscriminately for a uh, road test seems a little um, inefficient to say the least this is you know um, they have a load board that you pick your loads off of and finding a load to a terminal or an OC as they call it just to do a road test who knows you know they're not going to drop everything and get you as soon as you get there so you're probably going to spend a half a day or a day there getting your road test done and I would think at the very minimum they should pay you for your time while you're at the terminal uh, being held up unable to pull freight and uh, they are to pay you for your mileage to and from their terminal to get your next load again DART doesn't do this to you unless you have ongoing safety issues number two or number four the all-in board so up until i guess about a year ago schneider used to pay 65 percent of the load uh, to their lease purchased guys they decided to stop doing that and now they do what they call an all-in board now on this all-in board they don't tell you what the percentage is anymore. Uh, could be 65%, could be 90%, could be 10%. They just tell you what the rate's gonna be with everything included, fuel surcharge and everything. Now, cynical trucker Todd thinks, what would cause a company to uh, go from a, a really clear, simple to understand percentage based deal of 65% to a murky not real clear 
all-in board where you don't know what percentage you're getting, what the load pays. It's just, we're going to pay you this for the load, take it or leave it. And so, um, you guys know I, I'm for transparency, honesty, things like that. And any time uh, a company goes to this type of situation, uh, I'm always a little uh, skeptical, let's say. In contrast, Dart has, and it's different depending on what division you're in, you'd want to check with the recruiter uh, and find out what's available for where you live and what you want to do. But for the most part, generally speaking, DART offers both a mileage base plan and a percentage base plan. And you know up front what you're, what you're getting, uh, whatever the rate is, uh, they tell you up front so there's, uh, there's no confusion, there's no murkiness or shadiness, and so, so that's something I also really appreciate about DART. Now, Another good one from Big Brother, driver facing cameras. Now, let's talk about this. When, when they describe it, it doesn't sound bad. Uh, but now they've got mirrors on the, on, man, my tongue is tied again. They've got cameras on the mirrors. They do have a forward facing camera, as does Dart. But they also have a in cap facing camera which they tell you is off but what they don't tell you is is that they can activate it during critical events now you'll see why that's important in a minute dart in contrast has an outward facing dash cam and there's no audio recording or in cap recording of any kind now the problem i've got with schneider's mirror cameras Yes, they're great for, uh, you know, some accident recreation investigations because you can see uh, what was beside the truck at the time and things like that. The problem with these mirror cameras is a lot of times they're just as good as having an in-cab camera. They can a lot of times still see the driver, still watch the driver, and so I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, and. You know, I'm sure some of you guys will disagree with me, and that's okay. But uh, they tell... Oh, here's the other thing about their cameras. They do not... I repeat, they do not allow you access to the video at, at any point. Now, in contrast, if there's something I wanted to see, um, Dart doesn't have a way to send me the video, they say. But I could go to a safety department at one of the terminals and they would show me videos. So I don't know why Snyder would be afraid for you to see their uh, dash cam footage or mirror cam footage unless they're seeing and recording stuff that they don't want you to see and know they're recording. Again, there's, there's a problem when there's not transparency in my opinion. And... Uh, so the next thing, and this is a, a big one that on the surface doesn't sound bad, we'd probably mostly agree with it until you do a little more research. No Bluetooth whatsoever. They don't want you making any phone calls or receiving any phone calls while you're driving. Now, that in and of itself is not that big of a deal. A lot of companies have that policy. Um, we can debate if it's right or not right. Where this policy of theirs goes extreme is you are subject to random searches. And I was told by a recruiter, all this stuff I'm telling you, I was told by a recruiter. They find a Bluetooth device in your vehicle, they can fire you right then on the spot. They said uh, any distract, anything in the truck that could be a distraction, uh, they're removing from the truck, they're really safety focused, blah, blah, blah. I mentioned to them, well, aren't you a training company? Don't you train? Well, yeah, we train. Well, in theory, you've got a trainee driving the truck. Couldn't a trainer be a distraction? How about an AM FM radio? Could that be a distraction? Are you gonna pull those out of all the trucks? What about a CB radio? Are you going to pull those out of all the trucks? 
Uh, take your ELD, it's definitely a distraction. It's beeping, it's buzzing, um, they're sending you messages on it. Um, that's definitely a distraction. But they're going to fire you if there's a Bluetooth in your truck. You guys know my wife rides with me. And I asked them, I said, well, what if the headset is my wife's? Doesn't matter. If there's a Bluetooth headset in your truck, you will be fired. All right, let's move up to number one. This is great. So, when you get to their orientation, they let you know that you've got to have slip resistant, steel toe shoes to, uh, to uh, work there. And they conveniently sell them for $50 a pair. Here's what they don't tell you. And uh, this is great. This is super. If you get caught without your steel toe boots on, you will get fired instantly. Now, I said, well, what about if you are, you're at the hotel? If you don't have your steel toe boots on, you can be fired. Well, what about if your truck's in the shop and you're in the driver's lounge waiting for the oil to be changed? You can be fired. You need to have your steel toe boots on at all times. Now, I didn't ask them, well, what if you're in the shower? But you get the point. It's ridiculous. It's micromanagement to the 10th degree. Now, let me go back because I didn't do the contrast to DART. DART, obviously they don't want you on your phone while you're driving. DART's a real safety-oriented company, but they do allow the use of Bluetooth. Now, safety contacted me uh, shortly after I finished orientation and asked me if I could send them a picture of the Bluetooth headset I use along with my driver's license just to verify that I use one. So I did that. I've never had an issue with them ever since that day. They just wanted to make sure I had one. If you get to DART orientation and you don't have a Bluetooth headset, they will sell you one. Steel toe boots. DART does not require the purchase of steel toe boots. They did in orientation sell us some snow spikes that you can slide over your shoes. They're actually kind of cool and they weren't real high. I don't remember what they were, 20 bucks or so. And uh, so I'm okay with that. The other thing Snyder said, if you get caught walking on their terminal yard without a safety vest on, you can be fired. So look, nobody's more concerned about safety than me. I like being safe, but I think uh, sometimes we can go a little bit overboard with it. And so I think that if they're so proud of these policies, over at Schneider National, National, why hide it? Uh, run ads talking about these great safety features they have, these great safety policies they have. Why hide it? And uh, I'm sure that uh, some of you Snyder drivers that watch my videos are not going to like this video so much. And I understand we can agree to disagree, but I, that's all I wanted to say about them for today. Something for you guys to think about on Monday. I'm going to talk to you about SFI, which is their finance program. If you want to lease a truck from Snyder to Snyder or from Snyder to other companies, they allow you to migrate the truck to different companies for a fee. And we'll talk about all that on Monday. But for now, uh, this video has already gone a lot longer than I wanted it to. I'm going to wrap it up. You guys have a great weekend. And we will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.